It's the second day at the gym, and Amberlynn gives Becky a possible diagnosis for the chest pains experienced at the gym yesterday. Amberlynn said it could also be asthma. I don't know. I'm not been to um, an as like a allergy doctor in a really long time. It really could be, baby. I don't know, but. Um. How old is? Also, she's exposing destiny. Wait, I don't know what Destiny stomach's like in the background. That's super. Don't show her. Okay, but <laughs> she don't want to be, be exposed, stomach exposed. Her game's so cute, ball. Okay. So, probably <laughs> allergies. Chepardy, no. Hi, Dima. <laughs> now that her makeup is done, Amberlynn douses herself in her new perfume in preparation for the gym. I'm so excited to <laughs> use this. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. I already knew how it smelled, so I don't know why I'm acting like I never smelled it before. It smells great. Eric isn't excited about the gym, but decides to power through. So we're getting ready to leave. Yeah. We're about to go to, so we're yeah, getting ready to leave. Know. We're about to go to the gym. I'm so sad. tired. I've only had like three hours of sleep. We went to bed around like 4 a.m. We were playing face 10 last night. Are you, are you excited about the gym membership? Yes. Are you um, gonna use it? It, yes. Destiny and Dana started filming their own vlogs this month, so we joined them in the drive-thru before they go thrifting. We're in the drive-thru at McDonald's, and everyone else is going to the gym. Yep, and we're gonna go to probably Goodwill and the mall. We're gonna go to Goodwill, <laughs> probably, maybe the mall. Keeping it real, I don't belong at the gym. <laughs> I'm not really about the gym life. Meanwhile, Amberlynn calls it quits at the gym and compares her capabilities to when she was 370 pounds in 2014. Becky's still in there. She's almost finished. I just feel hopeless because back when I used to do the gym, like I could do it for a long time and now I just feel like I can't. Hello everybody. So I'm currently at the gym. Even though Becky is almost done, she'd rather be with Destiny and Dana. Destiny and Dana aren't too far away from here, so I'm actually just gonna go walk to where they are. Literally, it's not that far, so I'm just gonna let Becky do her own thing. I don't wanna rush her, because that's just not right of me. Becky's still in there, she's almost finished. I'm just gonna go hang out with them for a little bit and wait for Becky to be done. Eric was feeling self-conscious at the gym since he wasn't familiar with the equipment, but Ricky has some good advice that he shared with everyone before leaving the house. Don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just feel like everybody's watching me and like casting judgment and being like, oh, look at this idiot, he don't know how to work this machine. But like I told, like I told everybody else before we left the house and stuff, I'm like, you know, fitness journey always takes that first step and everybody takes that first step. So today was our first step to it. When they get back to the house, Destiny shares the plans she has with her mom tomorrow. Well, we're going to get our nails done tomorrow with my mom. I'm getting my toes done, my mom's getting her toes done, Dana's getting her nails done, and her nieces are gonna get their nails painted. <laughs> I wish I was getting my nails done, that sounds nice. Destiny and Dana end their visit with a trip to Sonic for ice cream. Destiny seems protective of her phone. Okay, not ice cream, I'm Sonic. It's good. Amberlynn responds to the comment of the day, which questions her need for all the bags she bought this week. I work to spend my money how I want to. As long as I have my bills paid and everything taken care of, I think how I spend my money is up to me. We have a bonus comment of the day since Becky would like to respond to one too. Becky's been noticing that I've been doing comment of the day, so she wanted to do one for today. Let's do this thing. Let's count to five, like <laughs> Amberlynn says to do. You can do whatever you want. This comment is similar to the one Amberlynn read, so there seems to be a concern regarding the beginning stages of her hoarding. It's obvious that you have a massive void in your life and you try to fill it with food or buying copious amounts of random shit. You really need to seek counseling and deal with the root of the problem. Watch the full video without commentary on my daily motion page by clicking the link in the description. It's free. Thanks for watching.